Desk Proto. The voice is back, as you can hear. Some new software I'm uh, trying out. This is the first project. You can see the 3D model in the screen. Todd made me. Very beautiful. I'm gonna set some part parameters. First give you the name and I'm gonna translate the part so that the zero point is in center and top of the material. This is my personal preference. So part parameters are set. First operation, the roughing toolpath. Roughing, select a six millimeter ball nose and a big step over. Gonna do a block strategy. Maximum pass depth of 12.5 millimeters. And we're gonna leave a skin, a skin of 0.6 millimeters. This is a skin uh, over the complete part so that I have something to remove when I'm doing the finishing toolpath. Gonna take no extras, conventional milling. Save C of five. We're gonna skip horizontal and vertical ambient because we're gonna cut out the part with the saw. Let's calculate the tool path and have a look. The roughing tool path. Right click the part again, we're gonna make a new toolpath, the finishing toolpath. I really, really like the way of uh, setting up the parameters this way. I start at the left tab and go all the way to the right. I'm gonna take a 2mm diameter ball nose and a much smaller step over. Again, a block strategy. I'm not gonna leave a skin this time. No extras. Save Z of 5. I'm gonna skip the horizontal and vertical ambient. Calculate. We. This is going to make take a long time to machine. Well, probably you could take a somewhat st bigger step over, but well, I have a CNC machine, so why uh, should I use sandpaper to clean it up? Well, it seems like the 2 mm uh, ball nose is still a bit too big for the text. Um, so we're gonna make a new operation. But this time I only want to machine the text and not the complete uh, part. So let's see what we're gonna do now. We take an even smaller ball nose. One mil millimeter, I should say. I'm gonna take parallel along the y axis. This 
probably could have been Meander. But well. Safety of two. Okay. Now this, we're gonna take a freeform sub-segment. We're gonna set it. This is another beautiful uh, beautiful method of test proto. I'm gonna import a DXF file which is only the text and uh, it's already right on the spot. I can use this DXF to set the border within uh, within the complete model. So I'm only going to machine out the material within these uh, vectors. Let's have a look. There we have them. Much better. Although I should have used Meander, but well. It's a learning curve. Click on uh, Estimated machine time. See, we have three operations. Gonna take more than three hours. Okay, I have a, a factor of one set so that I can check out later if uh, the machine time really is the same as the estimated machine time. Cookie mold is taking shape. after the finishing toolpath this is without any sandpaper this is just how it came out of the machine only the burrs uh, from sawing are taken away and apply some uh, mineral oil never thought I would do any product placement for IKEA but well this is just food safe oil cutting boards and cookie molds
the first one. Even the text came out quite nice. And by now I can tell you they taste great too. watching.